I want to start off by saying that I'm not a person who does gun reviews. Uh, that's not my goal here. But I was walking through my Cal Ranch store here locally this week and I found this American Tactical 12 gauge semi-auto shotgun for $199. Uh, the price they got listed right here. And I thought for a semi-auto, there must be something technically wrong with it for that price. And so I went and I did some research online. I couldn't find a bunch. Uh, there was one form that had about two years worth of material on the gun. And there was um, three videos on YouTube. Of the three videos that spoke directly to this model, which is the um, SX2, the TAC2, that two of those seem to be coming directly from gun shop owners. And I don't know if I trusted those at all. It seems to me that they're trying to sell something more than actually tell you whether or not there's a flaw with it. And so I got a little frustrated, gave it a few days, but decided for $199, it was still worth the effort to see if it actually was worth the value. So I went yesterday and I picked it up. We opened it up briefly to take a look at it in store to make sure there was no real big flaws. And I didn't find any, so I guess I am now the potentially proud owner of this AT 12 gauge shotgun. Um, so I figured we pulled out the box, take a look and show what actually came with mine. I don't know if you can pick it up, pretty oily, but that's okay. At least I know it didn't come rusty. Um, barrel's pretty dry, a little bit of oil on it. A funny little stopper for the charging handle. You can get rid of that, push the box back. It also came with, I guess, some kind of direction booklet and your classic lock. Get that box out of the way. So, looking at the barrel first, and again, I'm hoping that some of this is picked up. I have this white tarp down to give it some really good strong contrast, but I don't see any machining marks. Even inside the groove here, it's nice and smooth. There isn't nicks or leftover rings or cuts. The barrel itself does say 12 gauge, three inch. The barrel is smooth and I don't see any nicks in here. The finish is uniform. There is a little bit of, well, you can see the weld mark here uh, all the way around, but that's no big deal. It's not a bad weld mark. It's not something that really distracts from it. You shouldn't be staring there anyway. It is a full choke. Uh, you can't change that. The sight, the sight's pretty weak. I mean, it's just black on black. And I don't know exactly how good that'll be, but I mean, there are things that can be done different to it, I'm sure. It's an 18 and a half inch barrel. As for the gun, polymer stock, which could be expected for this price. I mean, the gun comes out of Turkey, and it says on the left-hand side, Ottoman guns, Turkey. On the right hand side, we get ATI Somerville, South Carolina, um, model number. Bolt rides nice and smooth. I can't complain about that. I don't see any hangups anywhere on anything. Let's go ahead and take off the forearm. Well, if I can do this on camera, there it goes. No burrs, just grease and oil, but I didn't get any slivers. I don't see anything in there that would suggest at all. Nuh uh. But there any kind of milling pieces left. The polymer forearm. Uniform, no cracks, no nicks, no cuts. Pretty oily. It also needs to be cleaned out. One of the things I read online, was especially the, maybe the earlier models, that the O-ring that would fit on here would come damaged already. 
and they'd have to buy new ones before they could even shoot it. I don't seem to have a rubber o-ring. Instead, I have a steel one. This is also smooth. I'm not feeling any kind of nicks or burrs inside there. Nothing to catch the skin. It's not baby smooth. Probably catch a Q-tip, but it's not catching on my skin. The threads here all look good in the front. Ooh, that is super oily. Again, I shouldn't complain about the oil. At least it's not all rusty. Um, it seems to slide home nice and smooth. Now, I've read somewhere about the orange follower, and I don't know exactly what the deal with the orange follower is. I guess it's the newer version of it, and people aren't quite as happy with the orange follower you can see shoved inside there. I hope. Something different about the black and the orange. To me, without knowing anything really about the gun, it doesn't seem to make any real difference. Apparently it has something to do with adding an extension on here because it's crimped, but I guess there have been people who want to cut that off so they can add on that extension, but I'm not looking to add an extension on. In fact, the only reason I really bought this was to play around at a local three gun match. Uh, right now I've been using a pump and I figured I would try this and for $1.99, I mean, it's not a pro three-gun match. These people don't take it seriously. It's more of a, just a weekend out. I think this will probably do just fine. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll pull out the trigger assembly off camera so I can get it done in a different room. And then we'll take a look inside to see whether or not there's any kind of metal filings in there. Because so I read some of the earlier models, this was just full of little pieces of metal that you need to check it out before you ever tried to fire it. All right, now that I've got the pin out, supposedly, you just kind of, there it goes. Work the trigger out, whole trigger group's connected in one. Um, also, really oily. I don't see any metal filings on that anywhere. In fact, that looks really clean. Um, even the oil coming off my finger is clean. Um, I can't, to be honest, I can't figure out how to get the bolt release handle off here. The charging handle. I don't know how to remove it. I can't seem to find a sweet spot where it becomes loose enough that I feel like I can pull it out so I can remove the whole bolt. Um, I'm going to have to do some looking. I did check the wonderful directions. There's not a single comment in there about how to remove that bolt. They tell you how to get this out, which is pretty self-explanatory, but nothing on the bolt. So that's going to have to wait. Um, you get a flashlight. As I look in here, you know what? I don't see anything in there either. Just more oil, but I don't see any kind of little pieces of metal or anything that would suggest that the milling work they did had left a bunch of residue in there. I thought I would see if I can get a flashlight in there and maybe have you guys take a better look. You can see that it's pretty clean in there. Most of what you're looking at is just more grease buildup. Wipe my hand across here and you can see the pattern changes. That's just oil and grease that's put in there. Um, I've got no worries about whether or not there's an issue inside of the receiver itself. I'll take this paper towel, which is nice and clean, stick it in there. That's what came out. Oil and Grease and that's it. There's nothing in there on there that would seem to be sticking, catching. My finger runs smooth through there. Yeah, it's all nice and clean inside. Um, I can see some machine marks, but the machine marks are uniform. They're not jagged. Um, there's nothing in there that would suggest 
that this was done hastily. A 4.30 at on a Friday kind of work. So as it stands right now, between the parts and looking down the barrel, for $1.99 without firing it, I can't complain. I think if this will go ahead and shoot pretty much every version of a shotgun load, I should have a real diamond in the rough. Uh, if that's the case, then I would happily recommend this to anybody looking to try to save money on a semi-auto. Um, I'll run this out to the range after I get it put back together and it stops raining because that's what it's been doing the whole day. I'll do some video footage out there too of showing it shoot different types of loads and hopefully it'll run through them all. Again, I don't do videos and so I apologize for the noviceness of the work, but I hope this is um, instructional for somebody and maybe make some, somebody get an idea whether or not they want to actually buy one of these as well.